Tesla has hired a new legal chief after years of turnover. In a post on LinkedIn, Brandon Earhart revealed he's assumed the role of Tesla's general counsel and corporate secretary after departing from Dish. The move comes after Musk tweeted last year that the company was, quote, building a hardcore litigation department where we directly initiate and execute lawsuits. And Caroline, speaking of Tesla, in our weekly Twitter spaces earlier, we had our special guest speaker who had some choice words for Elon Musk. Take a listen. I think it's crucially important to be able to take criticism. And this is something that over the years I've realized with Elon, you know, he's very thin skinned. And so thin skinned is Elon Musk that Ross Gerber told you and I that he is going to make an activist play for Tesla's board. I think activism is the thing to be watching, isn't it? We're about to talk about it when it comes to Spotify as well. But what's so interesting with Ross Gerber is he, in many ways, has been saying, look, I've been out there talking about Tesla because the company itself won't talk about itself because they don't right. have a marketing play. They don't really go out there to the main mainstream media, as they call it. He wants to change that. He wants to have change from within. He wants to try and get a board seat. Fascinating what the reaction will be because ultimately he's a Tesla bull. It's not as though he's wanting to completely yeah. rip up the script here. Yeah, I had to crunch the data. He has 440,000 shares or so at, at Gerber Kawasaki. That's 0.01% <laughs> of, of the float, right? So tiny player. But he told us he has the support mm. and pledge of the single biggest individual shareholder. And he dropped some names on the institutional side as well. So if he gets momentum, let's see. But there was a lot of criticism and skepticism on Twitter, at least, when that news came out.